What's up everyone? We're back at the Duluth Micro Center for another Gear Up episode. We've got Tony already in the house and he's ready for an upgrade. His rig is pretty old, so I think this transformation is going to be awesome to see play out. Are you ready? Stay with me. Right, so I'm here with Tony. Thanks Tony for driving out. And uh, he's got a pretty old system, I think, safe to say. Yeah. Uh, the, the case especially. <laughs> is this one of the things you want to upgrade if you can make it work oh, in the budget? Yeah. <laughs> cool. I, I think that'll go a long way just aesthetically is having a, a more modern looking case. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'm excited to have them. And uh, yeah, let's look at some of the specs internally. Tony says that uh, quite a bit has actually died in this rig over the years. The platform is original from what, 2011? Is that right? Uh, it's an i5-2500K and uh, an ASRock Z68 Pro motherboard. Uh, he said that two of his graphics cards have died. He has a GT710 in there currently. His original cooler died. He's got a Hyper 212, looks like Black Edition in here currently. Power supply died, he replaced that. A lot of stuff's died. Uh, again, another reason why I think he's the perfect candidate for this playlist. Um, excited to see what he spins on the wheel. So without further ado, Tony, you ready? Yes. So the slices have obviously different prices on them. Your goal would be to hopefully hit the thousand or twelve hundred dollar marks. Those are the baby blues. The dark blues are spin agains. All you do is just spin it again. The lowest you could possibly earn on here is six hundred, and we're gonna try our best, or well, hopefully you're gonna try your best to avoid the six hundred dollar mark. Because uh, I think you need a little more than six hundred dollars to totally revamp this rig. To be fair. All right. So go ahead and give it one solid spin, Tony. All right. Tony, how are we feeling? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like we're on the <laughs> wheel of fortune. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah, give it another All solid right. spin. Oh, I'm getting nervous now. Yeah. Second spin. <laughs> you want to give a shout out to anybody, Tony? <laughs> um, yeah, my family, my kids, they're rooting for me right now. <laughs> Uh, it's it's uh, 800, woo, 800, all right, good job, Tony, good spin. All right, 800 bucks. Okay. I think we can make something work with $800. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, I'm assuming you want to upgrade your platform and probably your graphics card too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think this works gonna look very different by the time we're finished with it, which <laughs> is a good thing. You're probably leaning toward a platform upgrade first, right? Yeah. So you said that you don't do as much gaming, more like productivity work, photo editing, video editing, things like that? Yes, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, cool. And you had anything in mind in particular that you wanted to look at? Yeah, I was leaning towards the Intel i5 13700K. Okay, okay. I think that it's a 13700, that's a i7, right? Yeah. I7? I7? Sorry, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, and they also have, I think, i5 bundles as yeah. well if you wanted to look at yeah. those, but uh, I think either of those will be yeah. a huge step up, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so we can start there, I guess, and uh, we'll see what we have left. Ooh la la, the two big ones. That's looking good right there. Nice. <laughs> Getting that DDR5 now. This is low profile memory, 32 gigs, and it's going to come in very handy and we have a big beefy cooler sitting on top of those modules. So we've actually just been informed that we have clearance racks available and that's where you save some big money. Micro Center has, they've, they've always had really good deals when it comes to the clearance stuff. And Tony's totally willing to pitch in on his own on top of the budget, but uh, we want to try to squeeze as much as we can ahead of time. Was it an H5 Flow? And that's uh, open, you have an open, open box, box one? Yeah. Perfect, and that's how much? 75. 75 bucks. We had to, we kind of tried to talk Tony into a case upgrade so we can fit potentially a bigger CPU cooler. That'll leave you with about 130-ish left over if you tack on that beefy Noctua NHD 15 you wanted, which apparently, according to my calculations, barely fits. Uh, we're gonna find out in person in a few minutes. Um, that'll leave you with about 65 bucks for storage or anything else you're feeling. Some fans, up RGB. to you. RGB. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Don't go RGB. Tony's chosen the Noctua NH-D15S because he likes ultra quiet and uh, ultra quiet. This rig is going to look so good after this. Oh yeah. It's, it's not even going to look like the same rig. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's going to be totally different, yeah. <laughs> Jacob, stop looking. <laughs> You don't have to keep staring at them. So you're thinking like, you can save a little bit of money if you go with the Inland brand, which is like the in-house Micro Center brand. And they're still perfectly fine, decent warranties, and they'll save you a bit of money. Or you could go with, you know, a big hot shot like Samsung or WD, spend a bit more, yeah. but maybe have that added security. So I'm fine with that Inland brand. Okay. 
Cool. There it is. Oh, yeah, Look at that. There it is. So that's a one terabyte. Five, actually, pretty decent reads and writes. Not totally maxed out for Gen 4, but better than Gen 3, obviously. And for 60, what, 65 bucks? 65 bucks. That's insane. That's killer. And that just about wraps up the budget. How do you feel, Tony? You think this is a good use of the good use of the budget? Yes, I'm, I'm excited. This is gonna look. This is gonna look so different. Tony's like, get out of the way. It's gonna look so different. <laughs> Right, so we've just checked out and uh, we've got our stash of goodies there. Um, the cool thing about this, since everything was pretty old to begin with, we're not going to recycle the, well, he, Tony's going to probably make use of this somewhere else, but we're not going to need the platform or the case or the storage in here unless he wants to reconnect it. Um, we'll take the graphics card out because you did say you wanted to upgrade that down the line, right? Yeah. So graphics card down the line. Don't worry about that, folks. He doesn't game a ton on his rig anyway. Same with the power supply whenever he does upgrade his graphics card he'll upgrade that as well. But we're gonna use this again. So the only thing we need to take out of this rig is basically this and the small card. Everything else is gonna be essentially a brand new build, which Jacob, you're gonna do this one, right? Oh yeah. We're looking at the biggest graphics card they made back in 19th century. <laughs> boy, here she comes. Whoa. Nice, look oh, at that bad boy. So Tony has elected to remove these himself, which I admire, I again give the owners of the rigs that choice. There we go. And now it's time for this glorious CPU 13700K. Drop and run in. Yes, it's loud currently. Micro Center be a busy place on Saturdays. There we go. That's the best part. The best part. Mm, boy. Oh, nice. Nice. You want to let your boy do one? Yeah. Yeah, you want to try one down here? Nice. Nice. Look how shiny that is. In goes the DDR5, slots two for this board and four for that sweet, sweet dual channel. You getting all that, Jacob? Got your thumb. Nice. i try a little fancy X pattern here. That's probably a bit much. Apologize in advance for that, Tony. There we go. Something like, yeah, that, that should spread okay. We've got a cross tighten here to make sure that thermal paste spreads correctly. We didn't talk about this earlier in the video, but uh, this NHD15S, it's gonna be right on the edge of fitment for the H5 Flow. So we're literally gonna find out right here together if this works. A few moments later. Wow, that's actually, yeah, you've got way more clearance there than, than it said you would have had on paper. That fits like, super easily we don't even need to put the panel on to test so no problems at all yeah cool tony's gonna slide in that older power supply there we go and now just to wire a few more things up and there we go with a bit of help from the included velcro and this uh h5 flow here this looks pretty good now he's going to be removing much of this anyway when he does upgrade his power supply and graphics card down the line but for now nice and we can get the right side panel on, which should be fairly effortless to install here since we don't have a ton of clutter. The last thing to install is the GT710, which doesn't require supplemental power. It'll just slot right in. Uh, for now, I think, I mean, a heck of a transformation. If down the line he upgrades that card, maybe something that has like a white shroud would be the icing on the cake. But uh, this, yeah, this is definitely different than what we started with, I'll say. Super intense music queuing now oh yeah yep i think you got it nice okay it's a little small still Woo! but uh, <laughs> <laughs> look 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 no hate all right he knows he knows what he's going to be using the rig for and uh honestly this makes a lot more sense than upgrading just the card and sticking with the older platform so looks like a wi-fi card it does kind of look like a wi-fi card but <laughs> hey hey these, at least you have, at least you have graphics, okay? It's revealed to the camera. The, doesn't look much different from the last scene because the, the card's kind of small, but hey, at least it's something for now, right? For the application, I think this makes a lot more sense given the budget we are working with. Jacob, Jacob, would you stop doing that? <laughs> right, so what do you think, Tony? I think it looks fabulous. It's a big Thank transformation, so right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is one last thing to do and that's powered on. We are sticking with Intel, although the platform is significantly newer and he does have that brand new Gen 4 drive. So he's gonna install Windows from scratch there. He won't have to worry about driver conflicts or anything. So portable monitor and power on. Tony, this is your job. <laughs> you get to do the honors. So uh, power on at the rear and then uh, we'll power on up front. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, we got, we got a little bit of LED uh, action going on on the motherboard. 
A little RGB. It's not too bad. Oh my God, look yeah. at that RGB. Ja there. Jacob likes that, yeah. <laughs> Jacob, what on earth made you think that that combination of shirt and shorts was a good idea? My wife picked it out. Oh, Heather. Heather, did you pick out that uh, shirt short combo for him? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so far so good. <laughs> it's perfect. We have uh, nothing happening here. Oh, you know what? Wait, it turned off. No, no, no. You know what it might be? Uh, did we check for the BIOS? It might be the BIOS. I didn't think about that. We might have a BIOS incompatibility, which would be a quick fix. We would just need a separate computer. And uh, of all places to have that problem, Micro Center is probably the best for it. Oh, wow. No, it did post. Okay, cool. The monitor turned off. Excellent. Oh, okay. Well, I, I think it was probably just training memory the first time around. So cool. So at least you have a, a BIOS that's uh, stable for this uh, 13th gen stuff. That's nice. We do have the boot LED lit up on the board. So uh, there we go. All she needs is a fresh install of Windows, Tony, and you'll be good to go. And a new GPU. And a new GPU. <laughs> we, de we definitely need something other than that eventually. But uh, hey, for now, Ain't too bad. Right, so that's a wrap. Uh, Tony, how do you feel? How do you feel like it? Uh, you feel like it turned out well? I think you did a great job on this. Thank yeah? you so much. Yeah, no worries. No, I appreciate you driving out, and uh, hopefully you make good use of it. Again, I think the icing on the case can be that graphics card, and of course the uh, power supply down the line whenever it's convenient for you. But then you'll have like a really sweet system. I mean, you built this for essentially 800 bucks or so. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, there's a there's a lot of potential in this, so uh, and a lot of room to grow as well. So I think that's gonna work out really well. So, anyways. Thanks a lot for again coming out and uh, appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Damn it, Tony. He was like, all right, well, that's a wrap. And then he just was like. They shook, but like, it wasn't like, you know, like a typical like down low. He wanted to be above the PC. So it was like, oh. and I was just like, oh my God. So every video since that was like, yeah, it's so bad. Yeah, and that's the thing is like, you said you wanted a powerful platform. So yeah. I knew we'd probably have a couple gaps, but yeah. honestly yeah. for your application, I think it makes a ton of sense. Right, so, right. Yeah, I don't worry about the comments. If there's anyone complaining, <laughs> we'll take care of them. Right, Will? We're taking care of the commenters. You guys be nice. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, stay away from my donuts. I know it probably looks like I eat 10 of these a day. Okay, I know, I really pack on the pounds. Oh, the camera makes me look bigger than I am too. I promise you I'm skinnier in person. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> I'm type 3 diabetic. <laughs> type 3 diabetic? What? I have type 1 and type 2 diabetic. And involve totally different parts than like the last rig and the rig before that. I was kind of hoping they would kind of be different. So. But if we hadn't had those um, clearance deals, I think yeah. we couldn't have made this work. Yeah, you know, CPUs or, or even GPUs that run too hot. Back in the old day, you didn't have any fail safe that turned them yeah. off before they cooked themselves, right. you know? Like they, you could literally cook eggs on some of these things because they just, they would run as hot as you'd let them before they, you know, gave up, so.